Today we'll be taking a look at when you really should block sand by hand as opposed to when it's okay to use a DA or a palm sander. In a previous video, which you can check out by clicking the link up above, you'll see that I sanded through in a few spots over here to remove chips in the paint and feather edged the paint here which creates different levels or a step up from metal to the clear coat. If you've sanded through the paint or you've done some body work, it's a good idea to give your primer surfacer a light coat of black spray bomb paint as a guide coat and block sand this area by hand. If you know that it's perfectly flat, you can block sand it with the DA. Right here, we gave it a light coat. and We're going to block sand it in this direction and in this direction, crisscross. And we'll know we're done block sanding when there's no more paint dots left in the low areas and it's all 120 grit scratches. Here's a good example of when you're finished block sanding. It's all down to 120 grit scratches no guide coat showing, and no unsanded primer. And here's a great example of when you're not finished block sanding. We have a little bit of guide coat still sitting in the low spots. We need to block sand this a little bit more. And again, a close-up shot. This is old paint. This is paint. We don't have any guide coat showing through, and it's all down to 120 grit scratches. So that's finished. In the areas that you know are straight, you can go ahead and block sand with a DA or a palm sander. You're just going to keep it nice and flat, and you can even use a guide coat in that situation too. On curved areas like this that are concave and the DA doesn't really get in there real nice or the block doesn't get in there, you can fold a piece of paper, sandpaper in half, and if you curve it like this, it's somewhat stiff. And you can just come in there and somewhat block sand with that. And I just go in circles like that. And that should take care of that area. Finally, you can just quickly hit your hand blocking scratches with the DA and I just have some 220 just to smooth those out a bit. If you've sanded through any of the edges, you'll have to hit that with a little bit of primer. 
I hope you enjoyed this video on when to block sand by hand and when you can go ahead and use the DA as a block. If you did enjoy it and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.